Hello, I'm going to show you how to feed in a Beko Gemini carrier. That technique works for all the Beko's, the Beko Gemini, the Beko Gemini Core, and the Beko Cool, and the other models. It also works for any carrier you have where you have cross straps, so this technique is for cross straps. Um, so have a go and try. So if you are breastfeeding, you can just simply lower your baby down. So I'm just gonna loosen by lifting the buckles like that on each side and create some slack to pull baby at the same time. If I need to, I can loosen my waist belt as well. So I can lower my baby down until my baby knows it's at nipple height. So I will just support, I will bring my hand inside, support the top of the shoulders and then latch and you can feed like this. If you find that this shoulder strap is annoying, you can go into a hip carry basically, remove it, bring it around, retighten it and you can go maybe even into a deeper seat like that. Always support the top of the shoulders even if your baby Got some good head control, always have a hand nearby. When your baby has very, very full head control, then you can be a bit more hands free, which is nice. Um, when you breastfeed in a carrier, make sure you can always see your baby's nose. It's very important that the airways are clear. The head and spine are aligned. Don't use the headrest or anything in a way. There should be very good airflow, so really just nothing in the way. Try to bring hands to the breast so your baby can cup the breasts and push away when they're done and just monitor your baby always okay when they're done you're gonna loosen come back center put your arms through back to the strap if you've taken this arm out you're gonna burp and then you retighten lift the fabric off your shoulder on the shoulder strap guide it across and I'm just gonna hold it and bring this slack back like this. So just retighten until it's nice and comfortable. If you bottle feed, you probably don't need to lower your baby down as much. You can just loosen and then lower your baby down a bit. And then if that works, you can feed like that. But what can happen is that the head can become a bit overextended. So we can try to sit the baby sideways. So you're gonna put your hands inside the carrier like that, under your baby's bum, lift your baby's bum out and then bring the leg together, so both legs together, and you can sit your baby kind of sideways like that. You can support the top of the shoulders with your hand or with your elbow, and you can feed like that. It's a little bit easier to support and control the head movements as well. So seated sideways position, baby, basically, for, for bottle feeding is quite a nice way to do it. You can also breastfeed in a cradle like this. So you would take your arm out of this side and we keep only the strap that's far away from the mouth. And you can just feed like this. Make sure again, head and spine are aligned. If you need, you can just retighten a bit. So you bring your slack forward and then you can retighten. If this strap is annoying, just really move it completely out of the way like that. Support the top of the shoulders, or you can use your other hand like this, and you can feed. When you're done, you always bring your baby back upright, so babies should be always carried upright, is very important. So you can just lift baby up, put the legs back through the holes, and then I'm just gonna put my arms back through the straps, and again, I'll be tightened. Lift the fabric like this. So this technique works really well for this carrier but also any carriers where you've got cross straps um, if you don't have cross straps and they're straight so they can't go crossed uh, or you prefer wearing it crossed you can do all of that to do that you can't remove that strap i've done a whole tutorial on that it's on my youtube channel showing a lot of different ways uh, feeding uh, in buckle carriers whether you can have strap uh, crossed or straight have a look and see what works best for you and experiment and well done, you've got one hand free now. <laughs> Thank you for watching.